Good morning and happy Tuesday, Taft Wizards. This is Mrs. Williams. Today is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. Let's start our day by standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, boys and girls. So today's weather is actually actually going to be quite warm. I know yesterday was the shortest day of the year with the daylight, and today it should be a few seconds longer of daylight, and the daylight has already dawned. Um, how many of you have been outside to look for tracks? Yesterday in my video, I told you I went for, actually, I don't think I told you. I went for a walk in the woods this weekend by my house, and if you see right here in front, do you see these tracks in the snow? Hold on, let's get back to, there we go. These are some animal, I'm not sure if it's the fox that we have living around here, that does not look like groundhog tracks. But one of the fun things that I like to do in the winter is take a walk and look at all the tracks in the snow to see if I can figure out what they are. So when I went for my walk around the house, I saw fox tracks, deer tracks, and something bigger than a fox, which I know there are coyotes around my house because my neighbor got them on his trail camera. So as I was walking, I was just hoping that none of those animals would visit me for my walk. So take, um, take some family members outside with you and try to look at some tracks before they get rained on. Today is gonna be a nice warm 41 degrees day today. And tomorrow is supposed to be warm also and even warmer and rainy on Christmas. So make sure you get outside now and enjoy the, the good times. So today is a B day, B as in boy, and it is Tuesday. So our full virtual classes, the normally full virtual classes, you do have a live meet with your special area teachers. And our um, the students who typically come to school on a Tuesday, you have live meets with your special area teachers. And it's a B day if anybody has art. Everybody has a live meet with the art teacher. If you're not sure what you're supposed to do today for your specials, it's a B day. So whatever you have on a B day, go to that seesaw class and ask your art teacher, library, PE, or music teacher if you're supposed to meet with them or not. And I'm sure they wouldn't mind if you jumped on the meet, but make sure you do that and follow your teacher's directions today. I'll talk a little bit in a moment about that. So our lunch today, if you ordered it yesterday, you can pick it up today. We have chicken patty on a whole grain bun with creamy mac and cheese and green beans served with chilled milk and fruit. And our sandwich of the day is bologna and cheese. And lunch tomorrow, make sure you order it today. It's popcorn chicken with mashed potatoes and corn served with milk and fruit. And tomorrow's sandwich of the day is ham and cheese. So make sure that you order your lunch and or breakfast and you can pick them up at school between 1030 and 1230. Our choose love quote for today, it says watch the video on YouTube. It's called Let's Choose Love. So I'm going to put the link in your parents' email. So make sure you take a look at that. It's just over four minutes and it talks about the four parts of choose love. And I always have a hard time remembering them, but there's courage like having the courage to do something, do, doing the right thing even though, even though you know it's scary. Mrs. Williams is trying to find her words today. The second area of choose love is gratitude, being thankful and gracious for the things that we have and need. Um, forgiveness, forgiving others who hurt us or forgiving others for making mistakes. And finally, compassion, compassion in action, doing things that are kind and compassionate to others. So I have some gratitude and some thanks for our local church, Grace Community Church, along with other community members, have graciously um, blessed 22 Taft families, in addition to a bunch of Round Hill families and Little Britain families this Christmas. They were able to, with help from the community, there were a lot of people involved in purchasing gifts, wrapping gifts, organizing it all, um, and we were able to provide some extra help to some needy families in Washingtonville or some families who just needed a little extra help. So thank you so much to everybody who helped with that this year. It was wonderful. So today is a remote day as well as tomorrow. Nobody comes to school tomorrow. You see, I 
you can see that I'm here, and some of our teachers are here also, but some teachers are working from home. But everybody's getting on their live Google Meets at 9 o'clock this morning, boys and girls, so please join those Google Meets today and tomorrow and follow your teacher's directions because it depends on the grade level, depends on the teacher, depends on the cohort. There will be live Google Meets all day today and all day tomorrow, but follow your teacher's directions because some of them will be a whole class Google Meet that you need to be at, and some of them might be small group meetings or even one-on-one -on -one meetings. So make sure you go to your Seesaw, your Google Classroom, check your email, check your calendar, Please reach out to your teachers so you know what time you need to log in and be a responsible student and log in at that time. Make sure you have everything ready that you need, pencils, paper, dry erase boards, markers. Find a quiet place to sit and work. Um, I'm really impressed. I'm seeing some great uh, things out there. I visit some of those Google Meets or I take a look at those Seesaw and Google Classrooms and I'm so proud of all the hard work that the boys and girls are doing. You're taking ownership of your learning and I really appreciate that. And thank you to the families for supporting their children's education too. So our National Day celebration for today, there's just one thing. And it was kind of weird because yesterday there was a ton of things. Anyway, so today is National Date Nut Bread Day. So a date is a fruit. It's actually, let's see, I copy and pasted some of this. So I don't, I don't know if you've ever had dates before, but they are pretty good. It says that they believe to be originated around Iraq in the Middle East. Um, it says they've been around and cultivated since ancient Mesopotamia and prehistoric Egypt, possibly 4,000 BC. So that is a long time ago. So the fifth graders who were learning about Mesopotamia, um, that's when around dates were started to be cultivated. And in 1765, Spaniards introduced dates to Mexico and California, and that's how they came to North America. They have, they're very nutritious. They do have an excellent source of potassium, which is important for your body, but it is a high sugar content, 80% sugar content. So if you're watching your sugar, dates are probably not something you want, but it has a good source of protein and fiber. So if you make your bread today, put some dates in it and some nuts. And it says that nuts have a good source of vitamin E and B2, and they're also rich in protein and fiber and essential mi minerals. So if you're gonna make bread, you might as well make it healthy by adding some dates and nuts. So if you've never had date nut bread, today is the day. Boys and girls, enjoy your Tuesday. Have a good time with your remote learning. Get outside during recess and um, maybe look for some animal tracks in the snow or try to create some tracks. Have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.